If you think about the world we have today, the challenges are just enormous. We've got uh, greater uh, displacement of people than at any time in our history, and yet the world's more xenophobic. A re-emergence of misogyny that is just extraordinary has been unleashed by the kind of strong men mentality of, uh, of leadership around the world as we see emerging dictatorship, even from democratically elected leaders. Unemployment still way too high, lost generation of young people, and 40% of, of mostly women and, and young people in an informal economic environment where they have no rights, no minimum wages, no social protection. This is not a world that we want. We don't want it for ourselves and we don't want it for our children and grandchildren. I think there are some very, very good examples of people using technology for democratic purposes to build cooperatives that, uh, you know, you can call digital cooperatives if you like, but we still have a whole range of conflicts that are really about vested interests and how we make money at any cost versus how we actually keep things in balance with people, with their communities, with our planet and indeed with uh, a global economy. It's not whether people are keeping up, it's whether we are actually thoughtful about shaping a future where people matter, people are at the centre of it. The World Economic Forum has generated a debate about technology. The fourth industrial revolution is the framing it's given. The real benefit of that debate is bringing people together across a whole range of institutions because we are, as a people, across all of our common interests and our communities, actually working together to build the future we want.